clearly uh, the target at the government work report is set as 6% GDP growth for this year. Uh, but I think the numbers may well, well, very well be a lot higher. Uh, but at the same time, the Premier was at our uh, group discussion uh, two days ago, mm -hmm. and, and it, he said, you know, there is room to achieve a higher number, but, uh, you know, t w w the, the, the government is not trying to target the growth uh, for this year uh, only. It, it's more... Mm -hmm. um, cares about the uh, longer term sustainability. So uh, that's why it's trying to build a solid foundation for the growth well into the next five years, which is the, 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 the 14th five year plan. So mm -hmm. in, you know, with that background, I think our investment uh, is uh, very active and, uh, and we're very busy. We were uh, looking at a lot of uh, different industries, but the focus tends to be on technology, consumption, uh, and mm -hmm. the many new modern uh, infrastructure type of uh, investments. With the recent uh, pandemic and the huge economic impact on it, investors are becoming much more cautious and some of them are leaving PEs, their investment to working with PEs. Uh, is that a reality that PEs around the world are facing right now? <laughs> that, that is uh, actually not true at all. I, I, there is a mm -hmm. lot of capital. There is a tremendous amount of liquidity and everybody's rushing into PE and not the other way around. From, from now until the next two years, uh, do you think it will be the time for you to really make a judgment about what is the uh, nature of China-U.S. relations and the nature of your future business environment? U.S. and China relations will have its uh, uh, shares of uh, uh, bumps along the road. But overall, I, I am optimistic that uh, it, it is at least stabilizing. I think, you know, uh, with that sort of outlook, we can at least try ways to uh, cooperate uh, economically. You know, about 20 to 30 percent of our investment are overseas. You know, for example, last year, uh, through one of our portfolio companies, Harbin Pharmaceutical, we bought uh, a U.S. Uh, health supplement company, GNC, uh, out of uh, bankruptcy, and, you know, and in the process, save for about 10,000 U.S. jobs. And uh, that was actually the largest Chinese investment into the U.S. last year, uh, despite of all the, you know, tensions, all the obstacles that we had to overcome. Uh, I think on the, you know, tech technological space, uh, it is a lot trickier because uh, I think, it, you know, geopolitical tension, uh, you know, national security concerns, all come into play. Uh, so, yeah. you know, we need to tread extremely cautiously on those fronts. At the same time, mm -hmm. I think we are uh, looking into, the, uh, into Europe uh, a lot more. You know, we have done investment in both uh, France and Germany, and, and which have all performed uh, well. Uh, and those companies have uh, been able to uh, develop a tremendous amount of synergies with uh, the Chinese economy. Uh, so we, we just have to wait and see, but I, I, I think it, overall we are hopeful mm -hmm. that the, uh, you know, the tension will die down and, and uh, you know, well, the, the overall environment will be more predictable.